Hello everyone, Mason Strother here with Foothills Marine, and welcome back to the Learning Hub. Today we'll be talking about active sonar features and specs. If you would like to find out what active sonar units are hot on the market right now, check out this video right here. In that video, we went over each unit's features, but we didn't talk about why those features matter when you're out on the water. And that's what we'll be doing today. Active sonar units give anglers a live representation of the waters beneath them so they can detect things such as depth, depth changes, brush, floor hardness, fish, and any other objects in the water that they may be looking for. It works by emitting an acoustic signal through the water. If the sound pulse reaches an object, it bounces back to the unit's transducer and is relayed to your screen in real time. Many active sonar features that are important to consider are image quality, viewing modes, range, beam width, frequency, shallow water imaging, deep water imaging, compatibility, and price. First, let's start with image quality. While some of your image quality hinges on the fish finder's display resolution, certain sonar units produce more crisp images. Image quality is dependent on how well your unit does it taking the environment beneath you and displaying it on your screen. You want to be able to accurately distinguish between fish, the environment, and other objects that may be in the water. Active sonar units often do a great job at discerning between things such as fish and brush, and this is known as target separation. Additionally, seeing how your bait appears and how a fish may react is an added benefit of an active sonar unit with great image quality. Next up are active sonar viewing modes. Active sonar units feature three viewing modes, front, down, and perspective. Each brand has a different name for perspective mode, but it's the same concept. Forward-looking sonar maps the area out in front of you, typically in an 18 or 20 degree cone or field of view. Down-looking sonar keeps the same beam width as forward and is great for producing high quality images at faster speeds. So if you're planning on covering a lot of water, downscan may be your best option. It's also good for deep water imaging. Finally, perspective view gives a much wider view of what's ahead and is best used in shallower waters, which is around 50 feet or less. An active sonar's range can be important to some anglers and meaningless to others. It depends on how you prefer to fish. Commercial sonar units have a range that varies between 150 and 200 feet. Naturally, objects feather in clarity the further they are away from the transducer. A fish 100 feet away from your boat cannot be detected as easily as a fish that's only 10 feet away. An active sonar unit's beam width is its cone of view. Measured in degrees, the unit's beam width appears like an elongated oval. Front and down facing sonar scans shorter horizontally and longer vertically, while scout mode scans longer horizontally and shorter vertically. The beam width on active sonar units vary with each model but are typically around 20 by 135 degrees. The active sonar unit's frequency is very important as it directly contributes to the clarity and crispness of the image. Higher frequencies unlock the ability to process more clear images on your fish finder. Depending on how you fish, you may want to look into how an active sonar unit performs regarding shallow and deep water imaging. For example, Lawrence's active target is a great option for deep water imaging, especially considering their trolling motor head mount is angled further downward when compared to their competitors. On the other hand, Garmin's live scope is an excellent choice, and just in general, but especially for shallow water imaging. As we mentioned earlier, the further an object is from the transducer, the more difficult it is to accurately and clearly display the object on your fish finder. Compatibility is the last major feature we'll be discussing. Each active sonar unit will be compatible with select fish finders. Lowrance Active Target is compatible with HDS Live, HDS Carbon, and Elite FS fish finders and chart plotters. Garmin LiveScope is compatible with Echo Map and GPS Map, while Humminbird Mega Live is compatible with all Apex, Mega Capable Solix, and all Gen 3 or higher Helix models. Each fish finder comes in different sizes, has different display resolutions, and customizable options. Some fish finders even offer smartphone integration options, giving you the ability to connect to your display and do as you please. These are all the key specs that are important with active sonar units. We discussed image quality, viewing modes, range, beam width, frequency, shallow water imaging, deep water imaging, and compatibility. These features are all very important when planning to purchase an active sonar unit and should be considered during the purchasing process. Personally, I'm very excited about the future of this technology. It was a blast to learn more about it, and I'm excited for what's to come. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our newest videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the Foothills Marine Learning Hub soon.